we're gonna go with the whistle boring. What is boring doing? Another whistle blowing blow for boring have died all of a sudden. Now born is about, of course, a lot of these planes are breaking down in flight. A lot of crazy shit's going on with a lot of the manufacturing shit. So another whistleblower dies. In like, so what? Who is taking out these so-called whistleblowers? They're trying to call out Boeing for their misuse and fuck with that. Let's read this here. A Boeing whistleblower have died. According to his family, just two months after another born whistleblower died in an apparent suicide. I still don't see the, what the point to say it was suicide. They dropped that story real quick. Josh Rodin, a former quality inspector for Spirit and Supply for Boeing, died this week due to my staff. He had a staff infection, also known as. MRSA, a type of staff affection. His family described Dean and a healthy lifestyle hmm. and said he was in good health until about two weeks ago. Really? So he was always at a healthy high lifestyle. And all of a sudden, two weeks ago, he shit talked to hit the fan. Ain't that a bitch? Hmm. When he was hospitalized due to difficult breathing. Oh, ain't that weird? While in the hospital, Dean was and described with an followed by MRS. He was moved from Wichita, Kansas to a hospital in Oklahoma City to receive treatment from an EMC. Clyde blood once organs begin to fail. Damn. He was put on dialysis. God damn. Dean had filed a complaint against Spirit in 2020, alleging that the company had fired him after he raised concerns about serious and gross misconduct by senior qualified quality management of the 737 product line. Represented by the same South Carolina based firm that represented Boeing whistleblower John who was found dead by a so-called suicide. A corner rule his death for suicide. Brian Knox, Brian knows an attorney who represents both Dean and Barrett, declined to talk about the death. I bet he did. Hmm, what if he knows about both of these deaths? What blows are needed? They like to round and corruption in the interest of society. It takes a lot of courage to stand up, knows all the time. It's a difficult set of circumstances. I bet they are. All thoughts are with John family and Josh family. So, boy, second whistleblower, like I said, the family of, of this man said he had, Adin said he had a healthy fucking lifestyle. All of a sudden, two weeks ago, he, he's fucking. Out of Boeing. What are your thoughts on what you think could have happened to this whistleblower? This well, first of all, you took the words out of my mouth. The guy worked there for 30 years, and, and you're going to give him two sentences. I, I think you can say something a little nicer. Uh, but I mean, this is yeah. this is scary stuff. All all of it from top to bottom, from the doors yeah. flying off to them knowing about it, uh, going back uh, a couple of years, and and people saying that there were these defects and not addressing them. I, I think Boeing's in a lot of trouble. With this. Yeah, I mean, Hillary, in these big companies, when you're dealing with crisis communications, crisis mm -hmm. management, I mean, this is this is really significant, Ooh. especially when you're seeing DOJ moving forward with a probe against um, against Boeing. But I was also kind of shocked that the FAA, they didn't pub they didn't release this report with all these compliance issues. Are you no, are you concerned? They haven't. Oh, In fact, you just go back actually to this alleged, you know, self-inflicted wound. When someone has the courage to come forward to something like a Boeing, that's a that's a demonstration of their character. So someone who's got that much fortitude and that much courage, and then though they just take their own life. So something doesn't add up there in terms of you know the kind of ca character, I would say, seems nope. suspicious. Now, going back to your question. They didn't release what all of those audits 
um, showed. Why? Because do you think the American public would want to ever get back on a Boeing plane with the with the details of what those all seven. those not just now alleged seven. all of those um, audits revealed in terms right. of? And they said one of the things was they said uh, it might sound minor, but tool management, tool management, tools going missing, not the right tools being used. They said that was one of the major issues at the Boeing. And let's go back to to, to 2018, 2019. Those were Boeing planes that went down over Indonesia and Ethiopia. If those had been American Ooh. flight, uh, domestic flights with Americans on them, I think the American public would have responded a little bit more differently. But Matthew, oh, don't you yeah. think that Boeing has a, res I mean, has a responsibility to say, look, this audit came back. We're working on these changes. I just, I don't get it. It seems almost like it's a cover up. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like a cover. -up. Man, this whole situation. It's shady. Two whistleblower died within a few months of each other. Find a call out the fucking unsafety, the missing, the non quality, what's going on with these companies and shit. Hey, the misgrowth or misuse. Hey, these guys are failing artists. A lot of shit is coming up missing. They're not taking this shit serious here, putting these planes together or main, maintaining these planes that carry people and cargo that are important with people's lives are on the line with this shit. And have two whistleblowers die all of a sudden out the blue. The first one died of a so-called suicide. And the man, even week before that, said, I'm not suicidal. If something happened to me, I didn't, I didn't ask myself. And all of a sudden, he found a loan to his truck with a gun, a single gunshot wound with a gun. He said a week, week before that, hey, if something happened to me, I didn't do it. Make sure you investigate what happened afterwards. If, something, if I come up missing or something happened, it was not me. I did not delete myself. He said that in an actual video for quarter week before he came up. He came up done, deleted. And this one, yeah, this that guy here, second whistleblower, he shut up, deleted as well. Oh, and he was. I think he got deleted. Healthy lifestyle. All of a sudden, he get pneumonia. Staph infection that kills him, not responding to antibiotics out the blue for somebody who's living a healthy, good lifestyle. Come on, man. I would have literally looked into his lawyer, the, the, law, the law firm that represented both these guys. I probably started looking into them more than anybody. What's going on? Both your, you represent both these guys, out of, and both of them end up dead. I would investigate the law firm. I might have to, they might have some backdoor or back channel to Boeing somehow. The Boeing is in South Carolina as well, one of the couple factories and shit. I will take a long look at the law firm that was representing those two whistleblowers. So they got some dirty money, some bullshit corrupt money coming in. They ask those guys, or, or whoever the case may be, every pipe playing dirty, sucking games. Bullshit. It is absolute. Bullshit that that didn't even happen like that. So, Boeing in a lot of hot heat. Hot, if you know, if you're on a Boeing flight, if you're flying, you better change plane to change flight. You better not be on it. All I'm gonna say to you.